Okay, thought it would be a good day for an aquaponics update. And the most important development is we have plants. Uh, these are broccoli. There's a little broccoli plant. The longer leaves kind of died back. Uh, but there's actually some new new leaves shooting up out of the bottom. So it's everything's still living. This has all been in about a week. And we got some Brussels sprouts over here. Four of them. So we got four of each plant. They had them at Lowe's, so I figured uh, I'd go ahead and buy two packs, or you know, a pack of each, and stick them in here and see what happens. You know, it's we've had some very warm days. It's still getting cold at night. It was uh, we had frost last night, but everything still looks lively. As are the fish down there. They all tend to. They tend to stay over there by the pump, it seems. And I added a bucket. I saw somebody's video on YouTube that had a bucket, and I drilled some holes in it. Had to put a brick and a rock on it to hold it down. That gives some cover for the fish to swim in and out of. So that's working out pretty good. And all the fish seem to be living. Um, and they're doing fine. I haven't had any fatalities yet. Uh, I haven't checked the water today, but uh, the pH and the ammonia and nitrates and nitrites, last time I checked, were all the same. They really hadn't moved any. <coughs> I was hoping for the pH to come down a little bit on its own once uh, everything started started going. You can see over here to the right, I've got my new addition. I, I got two pickle barrels. They're 60 gallon pickle barrels. I piped them in. You can see I piped it in down to the valve at the bottom of the IBC. This is my next little experimentation. And I'll put a valve going in so that I can isolate it. And then down at the bottom there I just put it like a clean out T with a plug in it <coughs> because it's cheaper than putting another valve a two inch pipe and uh, valves and stuff get pretty expensive but what my plans are and you can probably see I buried in one of the 60 gallon barrels and my intent with that was in the summertime I'm going to be cycling the water through it and hopefully it's going to keep my water cooler um, cause, you know we get pretty hot here in North Carolina so uh, I was a little concerned of the water temperature getting up high but uh, we'll just have to see so I've got a cat the lid on it right now but I did fill it up with water I dug the hole today and uh, sunk it all the way down except for the top three inches I guess which worked great and I've already drilled another hole I gotta get the fittings so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put the pump down in the in the well there in the, in the, the, the uh, barrel that is buried um, this barrel right here was just kind of an addition <laughs> I was thinking maybe to isolate fish if I ever needed to or uh, who knows <laughs> maybe to put some uh, some surface area in there to you know kind of hold the bacteria uh, for the biological filtering but uh, at any rate I always got to be doing something so that's what I'm playing with now so what will happen is the water will come out the bottom of the IBC and it will go up into this jug I call it a jug barrel and as the water is pumped out of the barrel that is buried and back into the grow bed and spray bar 
I'm going to orient the fitting over here so that uh, it'll keep a constant level on the IBC and the barrel. You know, it'll be kind of a, a spill, spill over, and uh, I think that'll work out okay. You know, I'm going to probably have to turn an elbow up and then back down to to adjust the level that I want to get, keeping that IBC. But uh, at any rate, I think it'll work out pretty good, uh, and uh, hopefully it'll it'll give me the cooling effect that I'm looking for. But we shall see. I've already got some pipe made up so that I can move the pump out of the the main tank. And uh, you know, it's all about experimentation. I like to play; keeps me out of trouble. So, <laughs> video's getting kind of long. So, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, say goodbye for now. And when I have some new information, I'll post another one. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.